Text, U.S. Department of the Interior. Bureau of Land Management. National System of Public Lands. How to Pan for Gold. A man stands in front of a tub full of brown water. He holds a pan. Hi, uh, I'm John Hoppe. I'm a geologist with the Bureau of Land Management here in Anchorage, Alaska. Alaska, we have a lot of placer mining, and that all starts with uh, gold panning, prospecting. I plan to do a quick demonstration on how to pan for gold. So if you find yourself on a gravel bar and you want to try a little uh, gold panning, it helps usually to screen, use a screen to uh, uh, take out the larger rocks and pebbles. You know, it helps to find a boulder that gold can get caught behind by the stream. Can, and you screen that, put it in the pan, and then I have uh, three main steps for most of the panning. Dips pan in tub. Hey, you use a lot of water, but first is you shake. You shake the material, and because gold is 19 times heavier than water, it sinks to the very bottom of the pan because it's about five, six times heavier than any other uh, rocks in the stream. So you shake for a while if there's any clay lumps or things stuck together. It doesn't hurt to break that up a little bit. But most of the work is done by shaking. Shake for a little while. Shakes pan in circular motion. Then you drain, you put the water off, and then you dip. So those three steps, shake, drain, and dip. And when you dip, you're letting the top layer of sand and gravel wash out of the pan. Now you don't have to worry about losing the gold too much because if it's well shaken, it's gonna be at the, already in the bottom of the pan in that little crease. Dips pan in tub. So, and we repeat, shake, Keeping the ridges down and keeping the pan tilted. So you kind of make a funnel shape. And you drain, and dip. And let that top layer of gravel wash out of the pan. Dips one side of pan. Turn, and go back, add water, shake. Pours water from pan to tub. Drain, and dip. Dips and tilts pan, letting gravel fall out. So if you're out there prospecting, make sure that you're on public lands. And usually you can go to uh, an agency website like the BLM or the Forest Service and make sure that there's no uh, mining claims in the area. Because uh, uh, you don't want to be uh, claim jumping. You don't want to be mining on someone else's uh, mining claim. Anyways, shake drain and dip you want to get down to about you know a, a cup half cup of the material maybe even a little less if you can spend more time as you get near the the end you just be a little more gentle a little slower draining dipping. dips and tilts gravel falls adds water uh, if you have a lot of black sand and that's magnetite that's pretty heavy so you that may be uh you may have a lot of that in your pan. Sometimes you can use a little magnet to uh, pull some of that black sand out. So now we're getting down there. A little more. If you have a few pebbles, you can pick those out by hand, give them a little dip, make sure there's no gold stuck to them. He picks pebbles out of the pan and places them in the tub. I'll do one more. Dips pan. So it's shake, drain. Tilts to drain water and small amount of gravel. Okay, now I've got it down there. I'm going to add a little clean water so you can see better. He pours clean water from another pan into the pan with gravel. So, and shake it. Okay, here I'll turn around so you can see it. So I angle the pan the other direction and slowly swirl. While we're doing this, I'd like to plug the gold panning guide to the Kenai. It's a booklet available on our website. The cover of the guide appears. So we're slowly walking the sand, nice and gentle, and it should expose all the gold you have in the pan. Close-up view of gravel. It's fun, takes a little time, great thing to do in the outdoors. Thank you. Credits. John Hoppy, BLM Alaska geologist. Jim Hart, producer.